Good morning. My name is Dr. Robert Groisman, and this time I'm going to be talking about the ultimate guide to vagus nerve stimulation. Now, this is part one, and there will be a part two that's going to talk about the vagus nerve specifically and why it's so important. So, to start with, let's talk about the stimulator. So, why did I pick the 10-7000? I don't own any stock in a, in a company or, or even sell it. Um, it is a very inexpensive unit that meets our needs. So what does a TENS unit normally do? It's used for, um, for muscle uh, stimulation to help with pain. Uh, TENS units are mainly used for, for pain management, um, basically non-medication, non-narcotic pain management. So what we're doing is we are repurposing a TENS unit to stimulate a nerve instead. So any stimulator will work as long as it has a continuous normal TENS mode and the ability for you to manually adjust the pulse width and the frequency. So this is an example of one that will not work. So these are great for massages and uh, sore muscles um, after, after a workout or after a bender. Um, if, um, if you look at this machine, it has pre what's called presets. So for the hands, for the feet, for the shoulders, for the back, for the neck, these are great, easy to push one button and you're done and you just control the intensity. Um, these are good for, for pain use, uh, but not for stimulating um, the vagus nerve. So let's talk about um, ear clips. So there's three main kinds of ear clips. There's obviously other other kinds that you can purchase. Uh, they, should, they shouldn't run more than $10 to $15 uh, for two clips. And yes, you will need two because you need to complete the circuit. Um, so if you search for a TENS ear clip or a CES ear clip, you will find uh, one, of these, um, one of these ear clips. They all come with a, a female banana clip acceptor or connector uh, that will accept most pretty much universally, most of the clips available uh, from any TENS unit. So these, these I like, um, these are the black ones uh, with a soft uh, contact point. It's basically carbon infused silicone. And there, I find them to be more comfortable. Um, the white ones are more readily available. You can get them on eBay, on Amazon. They have a bare metal clip. If it's not comfortable, obviously don't use it or make a little modification by putting a little felt on the uh, on the bare on the other end where the contact is not being made, these are my favorite the dual contact ones. However, uh, they're difficult to find. They're usually made by one company in England, UK, and um, they're sometimes difficult to get shipped to the United States. But any of these will work just fine. Um, so cables. So some people get the full deal. Um, these are the Basically, the plug plus the clips all on one unit, that's not necessary. They tend to be more expensive that way. This is the cable that usually comes with the 10 7000. Um, it has one end that plugs into the machine, into one channel, and has two banana clips or prongs uh, that stick out. And these are compatible with just about every, um, every clip out there. There's other TENS unit that connect differently, like using an RCA jack like a 3.5 millimeter ICA jack as long, but these ends here are the same. So as long as these are the same, they will work with pretty much any clip where to put the clips. So I've created two, two different videos uh, that I will link in the, um, in the description below, but essentially you want to use one of three areas, any part of the concha. Okay. So that, involves this part of the ear. It's basically the any part of the ear, the part that's indented in. And tragus is fine. The concha is fine. You can go to the Simba concha, which is right here. You can go on this part of the concha below. So um, the second clip is not as, as, as critical where it goes, as long as it's flat against the ear. That's just for comfort. Because if it's not flat, you, you, will, you will get a more tingling and and discomfort from that. 
It doesn't matter which way the clip is as long as it's comfortable. Whether the contact point is on the inside of the ear or, or on the outside in this area or on the inside in this area, uh, what we're looking for is, is comfort. Don't jam it in there. Don't jam it into your uh, auditory meatus, the, the external ear canal. You're going to scratch it. You're going to injure it. You're going to hurt it. Um, it's not necessary. So um, let's look at the modes. So the, the TENS units have a lot of different modes uh, because they're meant for pain. So um, there's EMS mode, uh, there's burst mode, there's interferential, and uh, especially the ten seven thousand has the strength duration modes. So we don't want any of these modes. We just want normal or continuous mode, nothing fancy. So let's look at the vagus nerve stimulation protocol in general. So first off, if you have a pacemaker, a defibrillator, or pregnant, I wouldn't use this device. Uh, because we don't know, number one, uh, if it can affect the baby or the fetus. And uh, with especially with defibrillator, it may set it off. The, the stimulation pulses may set off the, um, the defibrillator, which will not be very comfortable. You have two options. Uh, it's going to be a 30-minute cycle. You're going to do it either once a day or twice a day. If you're going to do it twice a day, do it a few hours apart. Um, so why not just do it all day? I mean, I have people ask me, why not um, Why not just run it 24-7? Uh, because the, the vagus nerve doesn't work that way. It becomes refractory. It will stop responding to the stimulation. And I'll just say, I had enough. You know, I don't care that you're stimulating. I'm done. You know, <laughs> I'm resting. Um, so uh, one way to uh, make it more comfortable is to either apply tap water, a conductive gel, or saline or salt water to the area where you're going to put the clip, the contact point. Okay, this doesn't really change the efficacy of the stimulation. It just makes it more comfortable because there's better conduction between the contact point of the clip and, um, and the skin. You're going to set the device to 25 hertz, and that's going to be on the frequency or rate, depending on your machine. You're going to set the pulse width or width, again, depending on your machine, to 250 microseconds. You're going to turn on the device. And this is, I emphasize very carefully, um, you're going to slowly, I mean really slowly, increase the intensity. Uh, most people uh, start feeling the tingling between 2 and 3, on, at least on the 10, 7,000 unit. Um, you want to stop increasing the intensity as soon as you start to feel the tingle. This is not the you know more tingle, better stimulation. You want this to be comfortable. You don't want to basically increase the intensity until it's really uncomfortable and you're not going to want to do it or will not be unable to do it. This shouldn't be causing pain. It's not necessary to feel that. So uh, the, the progress. This is not a do one and you're, you're feeling better. This is a very slow process. It can take weeks, if not months, to feel any improvement. So typically, I say about two weeks, 14 days, if you have not noticed any change um, in any of your symptoms from long COVID, vaccine injury, or anything else you're trying to treat, you can try changing the clip location basically on any part of the, any part of the ear that I said. Uh, concha. Uh, do not put it on the earlobe. Earlobe will not stimulate the vagus nerve. Um, it, you know, it's maybe comfortable there, but it won't really do what we want. Um, you can try varying the frequency between 20 and 30 hertz daily. So once a day, you're going to alter the frequency by a few numbers, by three or four num three or four uh, points. And you can also try doing the right ear. If you're going to try the right ear, though, or you're going to alternate between left and right ear. Make sure you're checking your heart rate the first few times to make sure that on the right ear, your heart rate is not slowing down too much. It's mainly a theoretical risk, but it's still possible. Um, if you're developing any symptoms or, or side effects from the TENS units, such as insomnia, pain, anything that's troubling you, stop using the unit. Don't just try to power through it, okay? There are other ways that you can indirectly increase vagus nerve stimulation. The vagus nerve stimulation that we just talked about is a direct stimulation of the vagus nerve. We're accessing it at the ear, at the afferents, basically where it's taking the input at the ear, 
and sending it throughout your body. But there's also indirect ways to activate your vagus nerve. Uh, breathing exercise is the most common. Um, you can try things like box breathing where it's four seconds in, hold four seconds, four seconds out, hold four seconds. Um, singing and humming helps that as well. Getting a massage um, helps increase your vagus nerve activity. Um, anything with music helps as well. Um, cold water immersion, it does work. It's just not one of my favorites. I don't like cold. I don't like um, exposing myself to cold water. So that's up to you if you want to. Uh, but I think there's many other ways to to achieve the same result without uh, torturing yourself. Um, laughing. Laughing stimulates your, your vagus nerve. And basically anything that brings you joy. Um, when you feel joy, that's when your parasympathetic or your vagus nerve is working. So I've seen so many videos on TikTok and YouTube and whatever you, you think of um, with various interesting ways to indirectly stimulate your vagus nerve, okay? You can't tap it, you can't twist it, you can't punch it, you can't slap it or pinch it. I feel like it's a Bop It commercial. Um, this is not a way to increase your vagus nerve activity. This is um, basically how to get um, a sore ear or neck or other areas, um, but that's not a way to really accomplish this. If you want to accomplish it, do it directly, like I said, like I stated, or you can do these, some of these indirect methods as well. So part two is coming and we're going to talk mainly why we want to stimulate the vagus nerve. We talked about how to do it, this, this, this version uh, in this uh, part one, but now we're going to be talking about why do it. What is it? What does it help with? Okay, thank you so much. And don't forget to subscribe. And um, I will talk to you soon.